your lives! Everyone run for cover! SOS! Mayday! Mayday! Code Red! Duck and cover! You're all in danger! The public health experts are scrambling to remain in the spotlight. Run for cover! And even their most reliable scare tactics are failing to keep the masses compliant, paranoid, and afraid. For the public health cartel, 2020 was the best year of their lives, and it seems that after one year of two weeks to slow the spread, they just can't muster up the momentum needed to replicate that power high. If you don't know the beginning of the Chicken Little story, here's a quick summary. Under the impression that the sky is falling, Chicken Little sounds the alarm to his community. In telling everyone to run for their lives, he sets in motion a series of chaotic events that otherwise would have never happened. Chicken Little's self-generated incident of mass chaos and confusion results in tremendous damage to his community, which later turns on Chicken him. Little, what were you thinking? Why would you put your town safety in After they realize that his panicked warnings were all entirely unnecessary. As COVID has been revealed as an entirely political issue, at least half of the country is finally reaching that chicken little endpoint. A once panicked population, which for the past year has been captured under the spell of COVID hysteria, is slowly coming to the realization that power drunk governors, bureaucrats like Anthony Fauci and the public health cartel, and other snake oil salesmen have done so much residual harm in the name of a virus, while never contributing in a positive manner to anything related to COVID. In recent months, when it was becoming clear that their latest avenue for panic was reaching its end point, the public health gang seamlessly shifted to another issue of concern. The New Mutants, rated PG-13, in theaters now. From lockdowns, to curfews, to masks and the like, these draconian moves were not met with much hostility. Despite our best efforts to inform the public that COVID, with its 99.8% recovery rate, is a virus to be managed not by government, but by individuals and their doctors, the public health terror campaigns worked incredibly well. However, now a full year into the two weeks to slow the spread campaign, Good morning, Savannah. How are you feeling? We are seeing real signs of resistance. For the last few months, the ruling class has settled on promoting new variants of the coronavirus in order to keep the power grab going. But now, the new mutation panic is simply not imprinting in the collective mindset in the same way that the old tactics were deployed. The ruling class feels their control slipping away. For the first time in a full year, they're losing the argument. The momentum for their causes are collapsing. New variants just don't hit hard enough for people to care. The attitude shift played out in Congress with Dr. Rand Paul representing the rational side of the COVID argument. You're and telling everybody to wear a mask, whether they've had an infection or a vaccine. What I'm saying is they have immunity and everybody agrees they have immunity. What studies do you have that people that have had the vaccine yeah. or have had the infection are spreading the infection? If we're not spreading the infection, isn't it just theater? No, it's not. You had the vaccine and you're wearing two masks. Isn't that theater? No, that's not. Here we go again with the theater. Let, let, let's get down to the facts. Here's a terrific clip of Senator Ron Paul taking Dr. Fauci to the woodshed over his hysterical proclamations concerning the new variants and why Fauci feels the need to wear a double mask signal even after he was vaccinated for COVID. The mass awakening of those once under the spell of COVID mania is happening for several reasons. First off, whatever your position is on the COVID vaccines, they are working from at least a psychological standpoint to help rid people of the fear and paranoia they've experienced related to pandemic mania. More people are leaving their houses and going out, citing the vaccine as the reason why. Of course, they never should have locked themselves indoors in the first place, but that's a separate issue. Second, COVID fatigue is getting real. Not everyone wants to suffer and be miserable forever. Third, the corporate media and authoritarian politicians and bureaucrats can no longer continue to disregard the fact that states like Florida, South Dakota, and others have had similar to and better results without lockdowns and other strict mandates. Just wait two weeks for disaster 
doesn't stick when it's been an entire year. Good morning, Savannah. How are you feeling? Fourth, people who can move the needle and shape opinions are finally speaking out against the failed draconian mandates. From scientists, to doctors, to politicians, to other influential individuals. They came to the party a year late, but at least they're here now. The repeated Chicken Little act is getting old and tiresome. Chicken Little! What is it? What's going on? The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling? Are you crazy? No, 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 it's true! Come with me! Eventually, people have come to realize that the sky is not, in fact, falling. The other thing is that when you talk about reinfection and you don't keep in the concept of variance, that's an entirely different ball game. That's a good reason for a mask. You're not hearing what I'm saying about variance. We're talking about wild type versus variance. And what, now, proof reinf- is there, what proof is there that there are significant reinfections with hospitalizations and death from the variants? None in our country. Zero. Well, because we don't have a prevalent of a variant yet. We're having one. Can I finish? We're having one one seven that's becoming more dominant. Policy based on conjecture. No, you have the. It isn't based on conjecture. So you some you want people to wear a mask for another couple years. No, you've been vaccinated and you parade around in two masks for show. No, you can't get it again. There's almost there's virtually zero percent chance you're going to get it. And yet you're telling people with them that have had the vaccine who have immunity. You're defying everything we know about immunity by telling people to wear a mask to have been vaccinated. No. Instead, you should be saying there is no science no. to say we're going to have a problem from the large number of people being vaccinated. You want to get rid of vaccine hesitancy? Tell them they can quit wearing their mask after they get the vaccine. Okay. You want people to get the vaccine? <laughs> Give them a reward instead of telling them that the nanny state's going to be there for three more years and you got to wear a mask forever. People don't want to hear it. There's no science behind it. Well, let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Masks are protective. And we have immunity pe- there, theater. If you already have immunity, you're wearing a mask to give comfort to others. Senator you're Paul, not you're wearing a mask I because of like any Dr. sign. Fauci, I, I totally disagree with you. Dr. Fauci, if you could respond so that we could understand the difference between the uh, virus itself and the variants and the reason for a mask. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't he- Chicken Little, what were you thinking? Why would you put your town safety in jeopardy? How could you mistake a stop sign for an acorn? But it is big a big acorn level fla. What did he say? Big a big acorn level fla. It was a big acorn? It was an ape throwing coleslaw? Big a big acorn level fla.